Hi, this is Joe Rabel from Rabel Stock Research with your daily five today. Um, while the S&P index attempts to break out with this 4200 area being really key, there are a number of individual stocks showing bullish characteristics and many of them look much stronger than the indices. Um, I'd like to go through these stocks and show the important technical characteristics that I'm seeing in each of them. Um, so let's go ahead and get going with our five here. So I want to start with Double Verify. And by the way, I'm doing five stocks and they are five different sectors. So what I'm trying to identify are stocks showing sort of new emerging trends, sort of uh, either a basing pattern or a continuation signal. Um, let's just start on this double verify the software company. Let's look at the monthly chart. I just want to point this out. If we go back in time, look at how strong this support has been um, in the mid 20 area. Every time this has dropped down um, underneath 25, there's been buyers underneath and that just happened again just recently. So um, uh, the other thing I like seeing is the fact that this got back above the 18 month line here and on this last pullback, it actually held that line. All right, so those are those are kind of important, I, I think. The other thing that I noticed is pretty dramatic is look at the difference in the volume action. You see these green bars showing where the price of the monthly closed above the open. And you can see that we've started to see these signs, what I would call signs of accumulation developing um, really over the last year. Um, people have been sort of taking advantage of um, pullbacks and starting to do some buying. So so I like to see that in these bigger picture patterns that have the potential to turn around. Now, if we go to the immediate, uh, what I think is sort of like the, the time frame that is the most important when we're playing these intermediate term trends is, is looking at the weekly. Um, look at the way this has developed. So we had this downtrend line in place. Uh, break into the downside, right? And we broke this to the upside with pretty good movement, had a uh, decent follow through. And then we came all the way back and tested this key support area again, right? Now, I know that typically we're on the lookout for a, for a move back above this peak um, as the, you know, the sign that we're, we've got the three. But if you notice the way this played out, it, it rallied up and pulled back, formed a pinch here, rallied up, pulled back. Now the moving averages are rising uh, underneath and 18 is above the 40. We've got a trend in place, and then we got another pinch play here. Um, while green hasn't, tr the, the green, the buyers, the, the ADX, um, which is essentially the DI showing the strength of the buyers, hasn't actually officially just kind of broken out in a big way. It is showing enough strength to tell me that there's there's a pretty good chance this is going to continue to the upside. So I almost like the fact that it's coming back above this prior peak here rather than waiting for this spike high to be taken out. The other reason why is because we've got this resistance area right here. Do you see this? This was a pretty key level that we're punching through. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm, my bias here is that uh, we're gonna keep going to the upside. Um, we're already showing improvement in the momentum on a daily chart. Now, maybe this is gonna do a little pause here and pull back. Um, I do think there's a lot of support at 30. So something to keep an eye on, I think, um, as this develops over the next uh, week or so. Okay, look at this GKOS, all right? This is a medical equipment company. Um, I want to start with the bigger picture because what I like to do is I like to have the wind at my back, right? If I have the bigger picture working in my favor, it's easier to catch a leg to the upside than it is if I'm fighting that to the downside. So I like the fact that this is this 18 month has started to cup around in my favor. I like the fact that the MACD has turned up. We've got a little bit of sign of buyers stepping in. I also like the fact that this is a well-defined support zone to underneath. And then look at the big green bar. We don't have that many days left in the month. This is a really nice green bar. It's the best green bar. Go through this whole process here. This is the best looking sized green bar that we have starting near the low closing near the high biggest size it's a pretty wide range bar taking out this red bar here now we do have this big decline from back here so that's why i would say we, we want to look for and i'm going to show you what i'd be doing on this chart so we've got the weekly 
which I want to zero in on, starting to show signs that it wants to get through. Look at this key resistance zone. Now, now one time it didn't quite make it, one time it overran a little bit, but I think this is the key level here, right around $60. And we had a little bit of a move through, and now we're starting to pause here. Green is starting to show up. But what I really like about this is look at this low ADX condition that we've had, and we've got this base in place. Now, we've, if, if we can show signs that there's strength emerging here, which I'll show you on the daily chart, then I think we can do this as a probe trade where we can buy the first pullback on the daily and look for an entry even before it gets through the 60 level. So this is what I'm watching for. Now, the key to this is how does it pull back? I mean, if if we get a pullback that looks like this, that's a really ugly, huge couple down bars, right? Then I'm, I'm not going to be as interested. But we've got this strength to the upside. If we can pull back in an orderly fashion over the next three to five days, I would really be watching this in the uh, mid to high 50s. Uh, well, it's really more like 55, 56, uh, possibly 57 if there's just not a lot of selling that takes place. Okay, this is a little bit different. So I want to start with the monthly again for the reason that I want to explain why I would look at this as a trading play as opposed to something that's bigger picture. We've we've got this really strong leg to the upside, but look at what it did. It, it's basically running into this resistance area up here. Now, there's good signs developing overall on the monthly chart. Strong move to the upside, improving MACD, improving DI. Um, and then, but what I really like is what's taking place on the weekly chart. We get the dynamics to the upside. Look at the strength of this leg to the upside. Look at the ADX and how strong that is, showing you that this is a strong, strong move to the upside. Now, during the correction back towards that rising 18, the ADX is still at 33. Anytime it stays above 25, I view that as a pretty bullish scenario. Um, so I would say, you know, if we can emerge out of this, we should be able to get another leg to the upside. And yeah, it, there could be resistance at the upper end, but I think there's going to be enough room to make some money in this. I would treat this as a trading play, but I think it's one that could be pretty good. Now on the daily chart, we're getting a little pullback today, which I actually like. I want to see this come back up. So if we're going to get a breakout, I wanted to take out this prior peak up here. And I want to point this out. Do you see the bar that tried to break out above this? That is not the kind of breakout bar I'm looking for. I want a bar that looks like this, that's closing here, right? That, that's a strong bar close. We, this one maybe was trying to do that, but it couldn't do it. Now we're gapping down. But if we can turn back up and we can get back above this prior peak here, and really doesn't have to close above, uh, get above this area, but just uh, right around the, the low 50 area and show a good strong green bar here, I would be pretty uh, interested in this. So, I, and again, I would play it from a weekly and a daily standpoint and play it as a trading play, uh, but something to keep a close eye on. Look at uh, w, uh, RRC. So this is, I know energy is going through a correction. What I'm noticing is a lot of the gas guys, some of the guys that are uh, more uh, gas related are showing some improving strength. If this can get through 30, I think this looks pretty interesting. So this is more of a continuation signal because we had a strong move to the upside with strong ADX. And then we've gone through a correction. And this correction never really led to a downtrend. And now we're starting to emerge again. The first time up was, was too early because there was overrun in the MACD. Now the second time um, I think is a lot more intriguing. Look at ARRY. So I noticed that the solar stocks, if you go look at TAN, it's, there's some intriguing things going on on a bigger picture pattern. I like the fact that this is holding the 18-month line, right? And then if we go and look at the weekly chart, notice how this has just been consolidating sideways and we're forming a low ADX pattern. We're starting to see signs of buyers stepping in inside the base, and so I do want this to break out. I want this to get back above um, this level here around 24. But I think if we see that, it's something to be on the lookout for. Now, what I'd love to see is a higher low here first. Maybe this will come back down and test and then come back up through that 24 area. And I think that would be really intriguing. So um, I do hope you enjoyed this segment. Um, 
it, I, in addition, if you'd like to learn more about Trend MACD and ADX and multiple time frames, I'm doing a free live webinar for my subscribers, but I'm welcoming, uh, welcome, welcoming others to participate as well. Uh, you can register at rabelstockresearch.com forward slash webinar. Um, have a great trading day, and I'll see you next time.